Finally, we've escaped one long summer hiatus. And if you're into Fox's Prison Break, I bet the suspense has been killing you. Rest assured, Season 3 will keep you on the edge of your couch. Take a look. Season 3 is building up to be the best uh, season by far. At the end of Season 2, you know, Mahone finds himself at the gates of Sona, the Panamanian jail. We're going to go... We're going to go spend a few months at the beginning of season three in this new prison called Sona, which is in Panama. And the prison is so bad that the guards have pulled out and they're standing on the perimeter with shotguns, just going to shoot people if they're going to escape. And the prisoners have taken over the prison. Everything has come full circle. One of the brothers is back on the inside, but this time it's Michael. And Lincoln's on the outside. There's a plot in that, uh, you know, Sarah and LJ have been kidnapped by the company, by Susan B. And uh, if he doesn't uh, get uh, this guy out, a guy called Whistler in, in prison, if he doesn't get him out, um, Sarah's gonna die, Elder's gonna die, and possibly Michael. Susan can't get Whistler out of jail with a bribe or a raid. She has to convince Lincoln to convince his brother to break out Whistler. I play a guy by the name of James Whistler, um, who's not all he sings. You know, a lot of people want his head, and he's going to be involved in some good flips and turns as the series goes on. What Michael finds in this new environment is um, uh, a gangster, a kingpin named Lachero. Well, Lachero is a um, self-made man, and he's managed to transform this, this chaotic place into a place of some kind of order that he manages to run by sheer will. Of course, the whole goal is to survive and to figure out if I have to stay in here, uh, uh, let's make the most of it. I want to be with the winners and not the losers. In a way, this is going to be our, our best, most uh, deadly, uh, most compelling season. Yet.